This project is about how to make cute romantic birthday cards. If you need to make a gift together with your friends, you'll need a big card so that everyone can write some words together. Let's make the card! We'll need a mini envelope to be used as a template. Place the envelope on the back side of scrapbook paper. Trace it. Cut it out. Prepare several differently patterned envelopes. Score the folding lines with some scoring tool. An empty ballpoint pen, for example. Fold up. Repeat for the other elements. Attach the flaps using white glue. Make other envelopes in the same way. Attach the envelopes with double-sided foam tape. Use the white glue to attach a tag. Add some embellishments. Put heart-shaped tags inside the envelopes. This card is the best solution if you want to make a birthday card together with your friends or family members. Everyone can write a wish on a tag and put it into a separate envelope. Let's start another card with drawing puffy clouds. Use white or beige cardstock. Cut them out. Attach the clouds to soft pattern paper using the foam tape. Place a tag at the bottom. Take thick thread. Attach the ends with multi-purpose glue imitating a clothesline outside. Make a small red heart. Attach the foam tape to the back of the background. Attach it to the cardboard base. Put a wish note inside. Hang up the heart to the line with a decorative clothespin. Send this lovely card to a person you love and it will express your feelings better than any word. Let's make the card featuring a 3D mailbox for love letters. Take a paper strip 3 inches wide and mark off 2 inches and then 1 inch across the length. Score the lines. Fold the box. Add white glue to the short side. Turn the long side down and attach, forming an arch-shaped top of the box. Cut off the excess. Make the back side from another paper piece. Trace the back of the box. Add the flaps to attach the back to the sides. Score the lines. Add the glue. Attach the back. Trim the edge. Draw a red semaphore flag. Add a themed tag. And the flag. Now make a card base. Attach a sky pattern paper to the cardstock as a background. Make a box stand from dark paper strips. Attach the mailbox to the stand. Decorate the flag with a pearl half. Put the mail in. Add some embellishments. And a wish note. The mail has been delivered. The marvelous card with a 3D mailbox full of love letters will be a perfect affectionate gift. For another card, take scrapbook paper and draw a big heart from the back. Cut it out with a craft knife. Be careful to underlay a wooden cutting board. Draw the word love on red cardstock. Don't make the letters too thin so you can cut them out easily. Use scissors to cut the letters out. Make a small red heart. Use it as a template to make several more of the same hearts. Embellish the card with ribbons. Attach them using multi-purpose glue. Cut off the excess. Tie a bow from another ribbon piece. Use the multi-purpose glue again to attach the bow. It's better to attach the hearts with double-sided foam tape. Place them on the bottom of the card. Glue a light background to the dark base. 
Attach the foam tape to the back of the central cut heart element. Attach it to the cardboard base. Glue letters to form love in the center of the heart. Add a few embellishments. Keep in mind a wish note. The heart card will express your feelings better than words. Now, let's make a card for your boyfriend. Attach a soft pattern scrapbook square to a blue cardstock base. Decorate the bottom with the star pattern paper. Make the background a bit more sophisticated by gluing on an ornamental strip in the center. Draw glasses on the black paper. It's easy. Sketch a square first, divide it in half, Draw a bridge. Outline a frame. Cut it out. The lenses will be white. To make them identical, draw and cut one out. Use it as a template to trace and get another one. Attach them to the glasses. Attach the glasses to the base using double-sided foam tape. Add a tag. Put a wish note inside. The card will be a good choice, especially if your boyfriend wears eyeglasses. Or perhaps he is fond of spy fiction, be it a literature genre or a video game. Or you can just leave the glasses dark. Take white embossed cardstock for the next card. Attach a pale pink ribbon to the bottom part using multi-purpose glue. Fold the ribbon ends to the back for a neat look. Attach the element as a background to a blue base. Use white glue. Attach white square paper to the blue cardboard a bit bigger in size. Attach the detail to the center of the base. Make a heart template. Trace it on differently patterned scrapbook paper to get three different hearts. Cut them out. Trace the heart on color paper a bit beyond the edge to get a similar bigger element. Make three of the same details. Attach smaller hearts to the bigger ones. Attach one element to the center of the card using white glue. Fasten the other two with double-sided foam tape. You can overlap the hearts to make the card more interesting. Tie a ribbon bow. Attach it with the multi-purpose glue. Add some embellishments. And a wish note inside. The heart is a true symbol of love. And if there are a few different ones, it means your feelings are sophisticated. Anyone will be happy to receive such a lovely card. We'll make a flower pot shaped card. Draw a flower pot on a cardboard base folded in half. Outline a square on top. To make it neat, cut out the pot on the front side first. Then, trace the pot to get it on the back. Cut it out. Cut off the square on the front. Cover the bottom with scrapbook paper, trace the pot, and cut it out. Attach to the card front using white glue. Round the corners. Make small flowers using color paper. Decorate the pot with silk thread. Attach it to the top using multi-purpose glue. Attach the flowers. Make green paper leaves. Glue them near the flowers. Now, let's make statement layered flowers. Draw the lower layer first. Its petals are the biggest. Reduce further petals in size using different colors each time. Let's assemble the flower using the white glue. Keep in mind a wish note. Attach white paper to a green background and add a tag. Glue it inside the card. 
Place the statement flowers on top. Add the leaves. Glue pearl halves into each flower core. Curl the petals to create a 3D effect. This card is a perfect way to send a quick note of thanks to your family and friends. You can use these cute romantic card ideas to create smart birthday or some anniversary cards to personalize your gift. Feel free to leave your comments, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to find fresh scrapbooking and card making ideas to make the best gifts for your friends.